All right. When you look around, you notice that this wall right here swivels. But you go, whoa, you see something. The whole floor in here is trapped. Is it cracked, you said? Trapped. Ah, trapped. Wow. So. Oh, well, Mr. Rowe, see if you could uh, fix that. Previously, I disabled the other device with my dagger. Before we left that area, I picked that dagger back up. Is another pit fall trap? Yes. I'm going to try to wedge the dagger. Like I did before, compared to the other trap in the same manner. Eleven. Okay. How you test? We can take one of those rocks that uh, was uh, burying the guy and just drop it on it. See if it works. No, no. Last time we tried, almost killed him. No. Can I tell how wide this pit bull trap is? The whole, it's a uh, ten by ten, and it appears to occupy the whole floor, except for the stairs. Now. This whole 10 foot section of wall pivots. If you were to step over, try to step over that section right to the stairs, for those of you who could step that far, then you, you could you know, like jump that. Then you think you would be fine. You don't think the stairs are trapped. I could totally jump that. You could. And I can't. I know. Yeah. We're, we're trying to bring this up. We gotta. Maybe not the wall. Just go up its edges. And... Let me leap across. And maybe there's a disabled device thing uh, on no, the other side. Yeah, it's handful. I looked across. Do I see any kind of lever or what? button? I left across. Okay. Uh, a twenty-two. Acrobatics. Sure, sure. I left across. Is there a lever I can find that maybe like locks the trap in place? No. Okay. You want to book just like that upper map or something? Yeah. Well, no. Let me let me just I'll cut it. Can we knock off the, the, the swiveling door off its hinges and drop it onto the floor? You, do you have any engineering tools like sledgehammers or anything like that? I have a halberd that I can slam down onto the floor. Yeah, that's not going to quite cut it. I walk up to it and I cautiously put one foot on it. I kind of just gently tap on it to see if it, it'll hold the weight. Roll on deck. 22. Yo! <laughs> no, no, it's not going to hold it. Well, it seems like we're in an impasse here. So people are either going to have to I'm speaking. Those. I'm speaking to the group hall. Um, we're at impasse here. Um, I failed to disable this device. Uh, the wedge and the dagger just isn't going to work here. We have rope. Yes. So I'm here on this side. I'm a pretty big guy. Huh. You can tie the rope to one of yourselves. Wait, that's that's above us, or hold on. So you can tie the rope to around your waist. Come on the other side, I'll hold you up, and then you can jump. If you fail to jump, I'll catch you with the rope. Um, yeah, I'm a gnome. I don't think I'm going to make a 10 foot jump. Um, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can catch me, that would be fine. Um, if you guys want me to wait one hour, I can spider yeah, this is getting fast. So everybody can swing across. I have a plus one. Um, 
How does this rock look? Does it look like he can climb it? I could take that climb ring and, and the rope and... You had it worked on your on your pictures. <laughs> yeah, you know, my little player there. engineering here. Yeah, go for it. All right. Oh, thank you. you need to put a letter on your engineering. Just okay. I'll give you the visual at least. Alright. Is there, does the wall have any holds on it? Does the wall have any holds on it? No. No. Do you have a rope? Well, I'm going to put the two ropes and I'll, I'll you know, kind of make a, uh, you know, zip line. <laughs> okay, one of you guys hold your hand up and the little gnome will just zip on. Do we have any wood? Do we have any wood? Grab upstairs. What what is this? What does the wall look like? Is it stone? Is it? It's stone. Smooth stone. Smooth stone or or something that can be climbed around. She ties the rope around her waist. I got. No, it's 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 um it's fairly it's fairly smooth. It's like you're. I mean. You have spots where the mortar would be and things like that, but in general, it's, um, you could try to climb. You could use climbing skill. Hey, yeah, I'm going to take the little climb ring. We can always send it back with somebody, and I'm, uh... I'm going to put the rope, um, and I'm going to tie it around my waist, and I'm going to try to climb uh, across the uh, across this rope. I've made some in stone here. Oh, that'd be cool. Anyway, so uh, should I do a climb, uh, climb check? Well, hold on. We've got... Dace? He's gotten across already. You're on the stairs. All right. Who who wants to go across next? Well, I'm trying to get across next with the rope. So they're holding it on one hold end and the other. We've waited long enough. <laughs> well, this isn't that bad. I mean, it's only a 10 foot, and they're going to catch me if I fall. I'm just a gnome. What about kitty cat? Oh, she's going to jump. It's not a 10 foot drop. We don't know how big that drop is at all. Ooh, yeah, nobody has set the trap off to find out how, how deep so it is. So if you're going to attempt jumping it, I highly recommend you try to rope around yourself. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. No, 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 I'm, I'm climbing across the rope that you're holding and somebody else's. <laughs> or or tie or python in someplace. I mean, across. Anybody bring python? Anybody bring python? Hold on. Hold on, stop. There's somebody in front of you. Wait. So you're doing... They got the rope. I have it tied. One okay. tied. Okay. And I got the climb ring, and I'm trying to climb, you know. Okay. And I got one tied. Catch me. Okay. Tell me if you roll one. Oh, okay. Because of all the assistance going on. No, I get a seven. Not a problem. Okay. You are across. Okay, the cat's jumping. The cat jumps across with you. Go ahead and just roll, roll me in roll one. Seventeen for the cat. Okay. Now you guys are in the stairs. Yeah, I'm going to climb up a, just a little down, down. down so I'm out of their way. You know, two or three steps. Okay. Well, that's amazing. Right now... He's on one five foot section. You're, right. you're another. The cat's on another. So that's 15 feet of stairs okay. taken up so far. Do you want to keep going down? No, no, I'll wait for everybody else. Okay, because at some point, it's going to get really cold. Right, well, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's not very wide. The cat's looking. Do we see anything? We have low light vision. Do we see anything down there while he's busy helping everybody else grow? Um, unfortunately, the low light isn't going to help you at all. It is pitch black down here. Okay, I have a sun rod. I'm going to take that out. Okay, and just hold it or hold it. Hold it. 
you can see down the stairs it appears to go into a room below. Okay. Without going further down the stairs, we're not sure. Okay. Well, I'm gonna, I, we're, we're gonna we're gonna stealthily go down while they're coming across. Okay. We'll be no right. We'll be no more than five steps below the. No, words, those people are coming. We're giving them room. Now, who's going to go next? Me, my boss, we're going to cross. I'm going next. Now, who's going to go next? I'm going now. Okay. Is anybody... You guys can try to see who goes first. I got a 16 and 18. No, yes. No, okay. Oh, my God. And I'm going to go down the stairs with her, past her, next. Okay. Past her, next. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on a second. I mean, you guys can, you, you can, because you're not in combat, you can get two on the stairs. Okay. At each five foot section. All right. All right. I'll go ahead. Who's going to go? I'll go. I'm holding the rope on the back side. Yeah. All right. So climb. Just, if you don't roll, don't roll a one. 16. Right. Okay. You're on the other side. My life is a cat. Okay. I'll just go down here and give this one. Wendy. We need to get some fighters down here. It's possible. Yeah. No, I mean, you guys decided to take points. We have a tank right in front. We have one fighter with us. You got a raptor? Yeah. We have a raptor. We got a snow. I mean, you know. Yeah, just saying. Uh, who else is there still? All right, Wendy's Wendelin rolled a 16. Um, your friend. Please don't forget me. Please, oh no, he's here. Yeah, we love him. My lady, don't forget me. And then we toss. <laughs> <laughs> but there's only one person on the other side. I really right. don't like it. Can you give me a boost? I really don't like it. No, the floor's safe. Go ahead and walk across. What? No! You don't accept it. No one else is walking across. I totally disabled the There's still a rope here. He could climb across. I love that. I totally disabled the device. That's a really Okay. Are we evil or something? No, no. Yeah, so am I. I think We've got a cleric of Saren Ray here. You can't do that. Two of them. Almost everyone in here. Okay. We don't care. I looked across and I was like, use a rope. That's all I meant. He's gonna fall in the air. He just likes to show off. Okay. Does he make it across too? Are you stepping over each other? No, you don't step on that. Use the rope. <laughs> how, how are you selling that to him? You're down the stairs. Well, I know. I said I'm about five steps down. Uh, we don't want him to trigger the trap anyway, guys. No, trust me. He's going to be trans. Okay. He steps on the floor. The floor gives way. He falls. Catch uh, him. Guys, anybody? Did he have rope to tie down? Falls 30 feet down. Do you have heel? No. Oh, I don't remember. I can do. Is he up or is he down? You see, he doesn't appear to be moving. I feel bad for him. You should at least help him. Huh. Next. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll come. I'll come back up to the edge of the hole and channel. Can you tell if he's alive? Is he still squirming or I mean breathing? You can do a heel check. Heel check. Plus, uh, Fifteen on the heel. It's hard to tell. Do you light? Yeah, I've got my ever-burning torch. Okay. He, he may be breathing, but he's um, but he, he's he's bleeding. So I'll do a channel to try to cure and, and uh, stop him from bleeding. 
Six five points. Okay. He's conscious. Okay. So we have a rope to pull him up. Oh, hey, ha ha hey buddy. Down there? Sorry. Sorry. Oh. Are you okay down there? <laughs> oh, here's some rope. Can you pull that whole up? body. Here's well, some rope. Can the good news up? is that's the safest place you can be right now. <laughs> <laughs> We'll come back and get you. You know, we can just be safe down here. Don't let me die or something. We'll come I'm going to toss that a rope. What happens if I starve? I'm going to toss that a rope. What happens if a zombie comes stepping along across that floor and falls in with you? I'm going to pull him up. Yeah, go ahead. Can, can he climb up the rope? You should be pulled up. Oh, no. I think I... No, I rope tie tie this rope around your waist and the uh, half works will pull you up. No. All right. He, he, he does. He's like, like this? All right. Do. Wolfie has the... Uh, <laughs> this is a bad job tying the rope. <laughs> you know, I mean, you see it's under the bed. Is this, is this okay? We'll He's see. Tie your tie. Remember, it says 22 to jump across. Hey, maybe try tying it a little better. Oh, another great enough. Oh, okay. Like that. <laughs> Yeah. I'm going to keep checking. He's bruised. He's barely conscious. Okay, so I'm going to... Can we pull him up yeah. yet? Finry does a 20-40 to cross. And now it's my turn. I'm going to use the climb. I don't think you did a good job securing the floor. <laughs> uh, 15. Okay, buddy. 15 for me to tell myself to climb across. Roll across. Okay. Hey, did we pull him up? All right. Continue down the stairs. Roll two points. Right, proceed downwards. Stealth. Proceeding. Check in for traps. Okay. All right. You get down. I, you're in, you're in the. Let's see. Let me hit Skippy. He was in the back. You hold. Stop. I'll just say it like it's that that order going down the stairs. I mean, they were up first. We're behind them, right? Right. Right. Yeah, that's about okay. right. A five foot wide rickety rope bridge stretches it stretches fifteen foot or fifteen feet from a small landing at the bottom of a set of stairs on the south side of the room across a 20-foot deep pit to another small landing on the north side of the room. The north landing has a solid wood door leading north, and the south landing has a set of stairs leading up to the west, which you came from. All right. And then this is all below us, then? That's a pit. This is... Little All right. rope bridge. No. I'll go for us. <laughs> I, I, check. I have not tie a rope around me. We rope the gnome and she'll pressure test the bridge. Yeah. The cat comes with you. No. Okay. She weighs only like 10 pounds. Yeah, I don't weigh much. Yes. Your cat. Yes. And the velociraptor. Yeah. Some kind of the cat. Uh oh, so there's something over there. And the velociraptor is. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Uh, okay, do I see anything with my sun rod now that these animals are, uh... No. No. I, I, I... Hmm. Your light, and your light illuminates 
5, 10, 15, 20, most of the room is okay. lit up with a light source. Plus the sunstone lights up the rest of the room. Right. Don't call the sun... pit. I look down at the pit. Do I see anything down in the pit? You know, I'm kind of with my light looking down. Well, your light very much illuminates. All right. Um, what you see is um, there are three bodies in the pit. Four bodies. Okay. Um, Two of them are humans. Uh -huh. One is a half elf. The half elf is female. The other two are male. Okay. I, I, and they're just in the pit. I detect magic. Do I detect anything magical? That would include, you know, on them, creatures. Um. That's why I said I was And I'm, I, you know, we're not in combat, so yeah, I'm staring no, at no, him. No. You, uh, you detect magic, and nothing appears magical as far as you can see. So I, I detect magic, like maybe a magical. Can I identify it with spellcraft? Identify what? The magic. You don't see anything. I don't see anything. You don't see anything. But I just, but I feel like there's magic in the air nope. or in the presence. Nope. You don't feel magic, nor do you see it. But I detect it. No, 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 you don't detect it at all. You're nothing. There's no detection. You, you, you use your detect magic. You detect magic. Okay, I misunderstood nothing, you. Right. Detect magic, nothing, nothing comes up. Okay. All right. They're not moving. Well, my, my, the, my, my cat's not very happy. <laughs> my, my leopard. Um, is anybody else moving down here with them? Yeah, I go ahead and move down there too. So you're gonna go bypass all these people? Yeah. Archer, yeah. Archer, shoot here at these bodies. That's what I'm planning on doing. Okay. Do you tell me? That is anybody else? Well, I say there? that there's three bodies down there. They, okay. I do a heal check. Do they? Are they dead? I do a lousy heal check, but that's still an eleven. They, they appear to be unmoving, and they appear to be dead in some sort, sort of death. <laughs> some sort of death? Yes. All right. I mean, they, they, they appear stiff. Okay. Their coloration appears off. Got it. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and shoot an arrow at one of them. Were they just worried with the zombie? What were they? Two humans, males, and a half dog. Female. <laughs> Which one is closer to me? <laughs> or you, closer you know you want to get the half elf. Come on. Yeah. Push <laughs> it the half elf. Okay. <laughs> That's a 21. 21. To hit. Okay. Is my cat still acting strange? Does it react at all when I pet it? No, other than, you know, just the reaction from an arrow hitting into it. Nothing, no movement. No movement. Is my cat acting strange still? Yes. Does not want to progress forward. Does not want to progress forward? Rage. Shoot an arrow at Rage. Can you cast light on the tip of my arrow and I'll shoot it across the... Uh, you can see, you can see the other side now. There's enough light in the room. Okay. How deep are these pits? Twenty feet. Don't cross the bridge. Not that deep. Oh. If it goes through, it's okay. Well, I would detect an illusion. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a gnome, so. Is there I anything? I arrow and I shoot, I grab two more and I shoot one at each of the other. I, I, I look at the door and I, I mean, if there's an illusion here, I would detect I'll it. I'm just saying. Hmm. Nope. Uh, two arrows. Well, like, Hit the other two. Well, did, you, did you roll the hit? I rolled for one. Half, it was a proportion. Yeah. 24. Yeah. It's not moving. And the other one is a super high number in the 20s. <laughs> 
Just both of them here. Yeah. No movement. Well, no movement. Well, they're not alive. And the ears are still traps. stuck in. Well, <laughs> they're putting, I'm, I'm tying a rope around me. Okay, what are you going to do? And I'm going to test the bridge. I'm going to walk out a little bit. Okay. Who's got the other end of that? Uh, who's one of these strong guys? I'll hold it. He's I'll hold it. Yeah. And the wolf will hold it. Guidance on. Yeah. Okay. Um, How does the bridge feel? I'm dancing on the bridge. <laughs> Feels pretty good. It's a rope. It's a rope bridge. So, All right, so I'm. Uh, I, I. I mean, does it feel sturdy like it would hold an orc? I guess. Uh, who has dungeoneering? Who has? Yeah, let's have you guys check the knowledge dungeoneering. Eighteen. Okay. Does it look like a sturdy bridge? Um. Or does it look trapped to them? Oh, he's got dungeoneering. You right. look at it; it looks structurally okay. Uh, it's fine to me. Twenty-four in engineering. I think I probably I'd have to come with I'd me. Say we send a fighter first and just cross one at a time. Yeah, I think that's reasonable. Twenty-four. Yeah. One at a time. It looks okay. I don't see anything on the other side. A door. Okay, and my cat still my cat upset that I'm on the bridge? Um, you're, you're, yeah, cat's just kind of. Tell them to proceed forward. Now she's on the bridge. You want to get on the bridge with? No, I'll go across. I just go, I go across and my cat follows me. Your cat? No, your cat will not follow you. You won't follow me. Nope. I I talk to it and ask her. I'm gonna do my last spell there. What what's now let me just ask this. It says that I have four spell like abilities each once per day. So I already did talk to animals. So I I guess not. I can't use it. Uh, I, I, with my bond to my animal, do I have any idea what's bugging, bugging my leopard? Uh, something is spooking me. Okay. Um, look to the ceiling. Anything on the ceiling? No. You know, animals tend to have senses that... It's smelling something. ...that regular... You know, people. Well, it could be something down. invisible oh, here, too. Oh, All right, I asked the fighter to come across. Your detect magic didn't detect anything invisible. Yeah, well. Finrear. It doesn't, it has to. It, it, come. Finrear comes up to me. It's a very lovely creature. Seek it out. <laughs> it, it's. It doesn't want to. It doesn't want to move much forward. I mean, it kind of like paws a little forward, but it's like it's not. He doesn't want to go too far forward. Point it out, boy. Point it out. Draw me a picture. Yeah. I'm out of the. Uh, I can't speak to my animal again, so. Okay. so he, he was here, but he didn't mention the new way. So, I'm like, he didn't sign up for anything. Okay. Yeah. Alright, uh, I guess he was here. No, no. All right. Spell to proceed forward. All right. If one of you fighters can come join yeah. me here, something's kind of scary. You know, the only thing you can really stealth is probably trying not to make a noise in the bridge. That's about as stealthy as you get. So, so. Right, if somebody can come across this bridge, it's creeping me out here. <laughs> All right, my cat won't join me? Nope. There's a door okay. There's a door there. Uh, there's not a lot of room. <laughs> you can get up there and kind of barely... Anybody able to detect the evil? How big is the gnome? Small, small. right? Yeah. yeah, I'm small. I'm going to grab you by the back of your shirt, and I'm going to move you right behind me. That sounds good. Okay. I, I 
not resist at all. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to put my ear to the door. I'm going to listen. Can you detect evil? I think detect evil. Don't hear you. Check the door. I check the door to see if it's unlocked. Um, yes. Do we, uh, do we open it? <laughs> Oh, kick it open. Okay. Um, when he does that, so I detect magic down there. Okay, we still have to take magic up. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it goes off. My magic sense goes off? Yeah. You open the door. Right. And what do we see? Well, what do I know? What you see is four evenly spaced canvas walls run parallel to each other in a row stretching from north to south to the middle of this room. On both sides of each wall hangs dozens of paintings, drawings, and sketches of a variety of violence-themed seats. A solid wooden door is in the middle of the south wall, and a heavier open door is in the middle of the north wall. Heavy, heavier door than this one. Okay, what am I detecting that's, that's magic? Ahead. Ahead of you, there's yeah. magic. You wish to... Yeah, I wish to try to identify it, or... Uh, you wish to say I, anything to anybody else? Magic! Good job! <laughs> Nothing comes at you. Magic! Right. Okay, can I can I tell what it is? Um, well, I have a spell prayer. You identify it as evocation. Evocation. Okay. There's an evocation ahead. Straight ahead. I'm not very good at each of the. What does evocation mean again? Uh, it's a type of school of magic, uh, magic missiles, uh, a lot of the elemental spells are that elemental, way. Elemental, okay. So. So, so a lot of things that hurt. Yeah. <laughs> you know, magic missile, uh, things that hurt. You, I parkour in the room, acrobatics, doing backflips, tumbles, rolls, and go right to the middle of it. Oh my god. Okay. I don't you have notice. much to help him. You notice. Right here. Good trap. Um, Good night. Good night. Good night. There is in the ceiling. Right above the door. Okay. Above this door. It's a trap. Something, and if you, if you go that way, you will set it off unless you disable it. Disable device. Thirty three. <laughs> <laughs> Someone put a some. It, it was a fire trap. You disabled it. Is that the magic that I detected? Yes. Yes. Ooh. So you you know it would have gotten real nasty real quick. So it was aimed at those canvases. And this room would have burst. So. Yeah. Uh, is my cat happier now? No. It's, it's, it's untrained. Oh, yes, I do. Let's get everybody across this bridge before we uh, delve Is my cat better cat. now? The, the paintings appear to be of probably some value. Who's going across next? I'll go across. Uh, is my cat coming to me? Nope. Still not coming? Nobody's animals going much of anywhere. I have animal animals. Oh, man. Oh. I walk across it. Okay. I'm happy with that. <laughs> <laughs>
We took care of the frying pan. <laughs> I would suggest crossing one at a time. Okay. Everyone, roll me this one. Okay. We rung the doorbell. Yeah. Twenty-four. <laughs> Steve. Fourteen. Helma. Oh, nine. 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 Uh, 18. Chase? 24? Wendell? 9. Uh, All right. Roll gods, love me. Not much, so much on attacks, but initiative. Love All me. right. You get on the bridge. And I need you to go ahead and go uh, a reflex set. <laughs> Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. The bridge beneath you releases, drops you down. You have acrobatic training? I do not know. I have it untrained. Um, can he, can he try to grab the bridge? No, he. That he, was he his, lost. That was his like saying, okay. Yeah. Uh, seven points as you fall 20 feet. The bridge is now down. Got it. Great. How many feet was it across? Fifteen. Okay. Yeah, just slightly more. Just slightly more, but about fifteen ish. You know, if I went an hour, I can do shape wood to make an entire bridge that's started. Yeah, but. So I still have the rope from earlier. So, wait a minute. Uh, yeah, you're the first one. What are you going to do? Me? Yep. Uh, we're in combat? Where's the threat? Don't know where the threat is. The bridge! The bridge is the threat so far. Uh, well, I got that rope with me. I uh, throw it. I walk up, up to the edge of the door. And is there anything I can secure the rope to? Hey, what was the rope tight? What was the rope the bridge tight? Um, it was tied to like pegs over here, so you could secure it to the floor. I tie that rope to it, and I toss it down for him to get up. Okay. And then I ready my bow and arrow. <laughs> Done. Okay. Um, we're going to go with Drago. What are you doing? No, you just made this This is not fun running across the middle of the board. I can't have the box. I can't have the panics. Right? Uh, 15? That's not bad. You can try. But you not. You need a 15. You see 15 to jump in. So you're going to have to roll a 12 or higher. Do it. You can do it. No, we don't want him to fall, too. Or you will fall down. Oh, oh I won't do that much damage. I didn't have much damage. Seven. Does anybody have fem yeah. fall ring or a fem fall? Or? Yeah, that's what we did. I got a 19. Okay. Feather fall? I, I don't think so. Just asking. So I get across. No, you said, does anybody have feather fall? Right. I'm no. asking if anybody. No. 
So now there's two people standing on the ledge now over there, and that's it. There's nobody else standing on the ledge. Hey, except for the cat. The cat's still there. Well, no, 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 on this ledge, which you're at. Right. There's two of you occupying that. But, um... Gonna go and climb up the rope as high as I can go, which will be probably five feet from the le- from underneath the ledge. Yeah, twenty foot drop, right? It's a terrible place to be. Hanging on a rope in the middle of combat. Man. Yeah, I'm sorry. He's uh, yeah, he's he's here too. So. All right, it's better than being on the ground. I know. Where I want to get rushed by three people. Okay. So I go up the rope. So uh, climb? Yeah. I'm gonna be and what are you guys going to pull? There's no place for you to go. <laughs> they get there to be hanging there. I'll be 15 feet yeah, up the ground. Yeah, can you pull them up? Can you pull them up the rest of the way? I'll be 15 feet up the ground. Unfortunately, I have a halfling and a gnome in my way. Can't now, can I see... <laughs> I, I, I'm happy to move out of your way. still like stairway. Okay. It's a greater drop from where you were at. Well, yeah. All right, so we got a busted. Uh, have they secured these ropes down? No, no, they just dropped the ropes down. They have on this end. No, no, there's uh, uh, there's no rope. The bridge collapsed. Right. The only rope right now is the rope going straight oh, down. down on that side. He's, he's right there. He's five feet off the. You know, he's just right here. Fifteen feet off the ground. He's fifteen feet off the ground. So he's, it's. He's hanging there going, come on, move so I can get up. How, where did the rope bridge break? Like right in the middle, or uh, is it hanging more from one end? Um, I'll say it broke over here. So most of it's on that side. On the ground, yeah. So they could probably just climb that up. But we need, okay. Well, I've got a silk rope. I'm going to secure it here so we can climb down, go across, and climb up. So I'm securing the rope. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to move out of the... Oh, I'm not... Uh, not not me yet? Okay. Not yet. Okay. Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay. Near you, this rock flies through the air at you. Um, it came from over here. You just don't have a clue where. But it just like, and it missed, and it just smashes up against the thing. Not that big. All right. Well. So. Ah. <laughs> um. What's your initiative? Which, oh no no. Which initiative bonus? Sorry. I have one. Okay. What are you doing? Um. Where did the where did the rock come from? Can I see it? Over here somewhere. Do I see any hole? Any movement? Nope. Any? It just it was one of those weird things. It wasn't like it appeared out of nowhere, but it just it was just so it maybe it was stationary and it just flew. So, but you don't have to see a hole in the wall or anything like that or a ceiling. No, no creatures down there. Okay. Everyone. Um. Uh. Well, I'm gonna move out of the way. I'm gonna move into, into the room? yeah a little bit. Okay. Okay. And I and the cat still won't come. Nope. He knows something's going on. Yeah. Okay. I know what's going on. Um. All right, cool. Um, I just moved out of the way. Okay. I'm just going to move closer to the left side. Get down here. The bottom, right here. Okay. And I'll get my crossbow. Okay, you got it. You got a cast. Sorry, both of these are ready. I'm going to cast very fire. Okay. Um, hold on. Ah! Fire in that direction. So I do a percentile. Roll the hit, see, and then we'll do a percentile. 
18. Okay. Um, go ahead and roll percentile. 100%. 100%. Seriously. All right. Um, go ahead and uh, go ahead and roll some damage. Uh, two. Two. All right. Um, okay. You hit something. Oh. Huh. I mean, you don't know exactly what it is. You don't see it. You hit something. But his arrow stick out. Arrow in the air. Uh, no, his arrow didn't stick out. It just went through whatever it was. It kind of hit for a second and then just kept going. Okay. So. Peculiar. Mm. Ah, what is you that? You said two points of damage, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anybody got glitter um, dust? Let's go with uh, not, Drago. Not at level one. I'm going to. Oh, if I can cast very far more, make the entire bar merry. If this is uh, this is up in the air. Yeah, I'm up in the air. You would have you said you'd fairy fire a, a, a given area, and which size what size is your area? What's the area effect of the spell? <laughs> You fairy fire where that arrow stops for a second. Yeah, but there might be more. This is not range. That's range. How big of an area? Creatures and objects within a five foot radius class. So it does wherever you target. Five feet in every direction. Okay. And now there is this. Uh, yeah, roughly. I mean, it's a humanoidish, no legs. You know, floating? Yeah. Okay. So. Right. <laughs> sure. You know. Do we do we know uh, this looks like undead? Probably. It's good. Oh, clerics? <laughs> Is it an undead? Yeah. So, uh, so I have a holy fire. I cast a spell. You cast a spell. That's what you did. Yes, I have a spell. No, you don't. Not when you cast a spell. That's it. That is your attack. But you did a very good Savitar. Savitar. I'm going to take my five foot step forward and get up on top of the ledge. <laughs> Which there is room now. Which there is room now. And since I'm not, I can do everything I need to do with, so how many feet is, with, is it within? How many what? How many feet is it within me then? The creature? Yeah. Right here. So, five, ten, fifteen, yes. So within fifteen feet, so everything's going at it. Go for it. First arrow. Is that uh, 17, 18, 19 for the first arrow? Okay. Next arrow, nat 20. Okay, so far two hits. And 16 for the confirmation, which I'm going to say it's dead. <laughs> Oh, how nice! We're about to instant nuke it with like all his arrows. <laughs> oh, there are so many nice. arrows hitting it. It didn't have a lot of hit points, so. Very nice. Okay, so okay. you're so across. You're into that. What, what was it? Does it become poltergeist? Visible? No, it dissipates. Uh, it was a poltergeist. So. And you can, you know, you can reset the thing and so everyone can get across. It tra it set the trap off. Oh. It waited. So, is is my cat willing to come and now? And you were like one shy of seeing the trap. It, it was a really high score to get it, and I was like, crap. <laughs> right, Did um, we see anything on the dead bodies, by the way? Like um, any? When you do, when you search the bodies, they appear to be pilfered. Okay. So continue on. Wait, okay, does my cat come now? Hold on. Chill, chill, chill. chill. Um, the two males were killed by massive uh, uh, internal injuries coming from falling. The female appears to be covered in tiny little bites all across her body, suggesting that likely she died from some kind of poison. So, and it appears that she probably was dumped here. The other two died here. She was dumped. Nice. Okay. So, um, I got my 
class of acid. So, all right. Go through. Wait, wait, can we watch? Check the door. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Tell them what you want. Can we watch last night? So I can actually like bridge all of us across. You know, you can reset the bridge. You can yeah, oh, fix the bridge. Fine. You fix the bridge. Everyone gets across. And, okay. Okay. Here we go. All right. Do the animals heel. come now? Yes. They they, they want to come now. Now they're like perfectly oh. fine. Oh. <laughs> they saw the poultry guy. I see. They just. It freaked him out. And it's undead. It's flying. Yeah. It's, it says it freaks out. It's a natural, unnatural animal. Good. Right? Okay. So. That works. Check in the door. And they won't cross the bridge or get on it. But And you, you check the door. It's check right. the door. Right back. It is not locked. And this is the heavy door. So. Who would not lock the heavy door? Kick it. You want to you wanna open the door just a little bit and kick it or just kick it down? Yeah, from the side. I'm like, ah, okay. take it down. Go <laughs> open. All right. Just to move us forward, you get into this room. Um, a half moon shaped cliff splits this room in half. The lower side along the south wall is 20 feet below the higher side on the north wall. The cliff is rather smooth, seemingly absent of handholds or anything easy to climb it. A solid open door leads out of the room to the, to the south, you guys came through, and two simple wooden doors lead to the, out the north and east wall. The room smells vaguely like cooked meat. Mm. Um, now, now we're coming in on the bottom level, right and yeah, we'll have yeah, to climb. Yeah, you have to climb. Okay. Now, just because the thief is with you, right here, a trap was set off. It had set off boiling oil yeah. and cooked. Uh, there's two, um, there's two deformed and burnt bodies. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, there's no. Right here, you find that there's a bunch of spikes sitting in the door, on the other side of the door, on the inside of the door. Um, and a corpse of a human female lying against the base of the cliff. When you get up here, you find out there's a couple handholds up here to climb up. They're hidden. Luckily, you see them because you've got a really good sight. Uh, but you also notice in the handholds, the little creases, there's like hidden spots for, for darts to shoot out. <laughs> so, right in the handholds. It's awesome. And, uh, <laughs> and then you get up here and you find like right here there was a trap with the boiling, the boiling oil trap. And there's two deformed, burnt corpses on the ground in a puddle of congealed oil. There's nothing of value on them. So, you have two doors. I go to the east door and check it out. You want to check this door out? Yeah. Okay, and... I'm going to check this door out. I slowly open the door. Okay. So what you do... Put the rest of us in the room there. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I'll hit one door at a time here real quick. Um, opening this door, you see the row of nine open coffins stretches from east to west across the north wall of this room. Each coffin is made from a dark wood, painted black, and polished to a mere finish. The inside of each coffin is lined with green fabric and holds a, it holds a ratty blanket and a musty pillow. Boxes, crates, and barrels line the south wall on either side of the, of the simple wooden doors here. Now, small Are there bodies in those caskets, sir? What you see is that... <laughs> Oh, he's the hero of Destiny. Look. 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 Uh, he, <laughs> using your heaving, you find out that he died from poisoning. Hmm. Now, uh, go ahead and roll me another heal, real quick. Uh, 
Do you have poison? Not yet. Okay. All right. You're not sure, but it appears that he is covered in a dust. The guy that's all damaged. Probably yeah. not a good thing. Okay, I'll let them know. Uh, they don't touch this self guy here. He might have some poison on him. Upon further examination of the room, several items have dust on them. Uh, don't Very touch similar. the dust. Ah. Now, Stay off probably the dust, using kids. gloves right. would be a good thing. I'm covered like 20 Um, Can we press the digitate to get rid of this? Or, uh... I can't use it again. I, can just oh. find... I have an antitoxin if anybody wants to. Well, that's it. Well, yeah, you can help me. Yeah. But okay. right now, so far, nobody has done anything. Anybody have, have gloves? I don't have gloves. I, I have basically. Well, let's I vote to press forward. I don't know. Well, using Rob Detect Magic, you find a couple it's items in the room. Okay. Yeah. Are a they scroll. covered with uh, dust? A so uh, you find a scroll, a sword, and a bag, but all magical. Okay. Are they covered with dust? Um, slightly. You can shake it off. Okay. I uh. I, using gloves. Using gloves, he shakes it off. Great. Okay. Um, can I identify what's in the bag? Can I identify the stuff? Um, the you spell know my, I'll just give it to you. Okay. You have a, first off, you have a scroll, bless or restoration. Okay. You have a short sword, plus one. Okay. Ah. And a gray bag of tricks. Oh, wow. Tricks. What do I know about that? He seems to know. What does he know about that? I know what it is. I've seen it before. I know about it. I see it. You tell him. All right. Gray bag of tricks that allows you to summon an animal out of the bag. Usually, usually it's a small one, though. Very well, largest thing you can get out of there is a large dog. Yeah. Hey, you, you want it? Okay. I mean, listen, we, we, we you know, we're with animals. I'm a druid, too. Okay. Well, anyway, give, give this cleric the plus one sword, short sword. <laughs> okay. But he uses the scimitar for the sarin ray. Yeah. You can tell I play clear. I don't like metal. I think it's a druid. I wouldn't use All right. the sword. You guys, uh, you guys can't use it? I don't need it. I have a helmet. I swear. Right. I'll, I'll hold on to it for now. You open the door. You see, it's a tunnel system. It's not refined at all like the rest of the place. It looks carved out, propped up with wooden beams to keep everything from collapsing. And what does our friend who we let fall say about where his, his uh, ex-colleagues are? He, he tells you that he, this is as far as he's gone. He has not been any further than this. Um, and what sort of okay, poison you've been this is far this? and you didn't tell us about those traps. Shame on you. Nobody asked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, Next time, don't ask. <laughs> Wait for ask, just tell us. <laughs> okay. What about the poison? What type of poison Swear is this? Swear to God, I'll put you back in that hole. That, that, would, that, would, that would be a contact poison. I've seen people touch things and it's just, no, that's not good. Okay. Don't touch them. Don't touch them. In that room. Thank you. Thank you. And, all right, so we'll go on. Does somebody want to right see here. if this looks uh, secure? You see a... It is ridiculously obvious. There's a trap. Right? Um, Daddy tricks. Hold on. Yeah, sacrifice the little <laughs> southern animal. I am perfectly okay with this. There is a black... He, uh, a heavy black canvas that was nailed into the ceiling and drapes across the tunnel 10 feet from the door in the west wall. Uh, there's a rock trap be behind it. What? But you know that you would actually have to set it off, you know, like let me go ahead and activate it for it to work because whoever set it. Yeah, didn't set it up right. So it's a makeshift whatever. So attempting to disable it will set it off. Pretty much. Yeah, if you tinker with it and keep going like, I, oh, I really want to set this thing off. I would love to have a rock track on it. Then, <laughs> you know, 
Matrix. Okay. Well, now, but you can, but, um, but you can get past it. You're gonna make a little noise getting past it, just because you have to kind of scoot stuff off the side. Yeah. 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 The cat would have to jump on the stupid thing yeah. to make the, you know, I go like, yeah, 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 yeah. and then it might not even set the thing off. <laughs> try, try, but. Right. You know, it would take you have basically set the thing off in order for it to go off. Right. You can get past it, but it's gonna you're gonna make some noise get past because it pretty much kinda blocks your way. Just yeah, let's just get by get it. Get past it. Okay. So you get past it. Alright. Just to sum up a little bit here. We'll be on alert. You get into these tunnels. Alright. The tunnels were hand carved or carved out by hand and raised with thick planks of wood. The carved ceiling stretches 10 feet in height and around 5 feet in width. The walls and floor are damp, and the sounds of dripping water can be heard throughout. So apparently they're kind of close to water. Now, you come across three um, humans. Alive? Who are cultists. Oh. Well, the what? cultists. They're, the, the, they're from the cultists. Huh. You deal with them. They're, <laughs> you know, truthfully... I one shot up my two arrows. They're, they're, they're not much to, to deal with. Um, you well, they get tell us a potion of clear model of wounds from them, and that's as far as, that's the only magic item they have on them. They have no we get to interrogate them? Hey, Wendy, you... you uh, Huh? No, they want to fight. Yeah. You know, you pretty much have to put them down. The only thing you do find is you find a note. I'll put that down there. Someone read it. Alice, trusted ally, go to. I'm full home. Opara, find that miserable stink hole our brethren call a temple to our Lord Zephyrus and instill some fear and carnage in their ranks for Bastrani's miserable failure. Fear and carnage in their ranks for Bastrani's miserable failure. Tell them all that you've been sent by Zephyrus. They're fools. They'll believe it. And tell them that Zephyrus wants them to trap the temple and lure their fellow cultists into accidental death. Tell them the final cultist will replace Bastrani and rebuild the temple. The last part is true, so don't dispatch all of them. Then spend your time watching them destroy one another, feasting on their corpses and keeping them afraid. Use, Use the Ziphus <laughs> granted. granted power I instilled in you to curse every last one of them. That should make things more entertaining. Your master, Harvest Man Quint. Okay. What's the name of the guy that's with us? Uh, Sebastian Pustava. Hust yeah, it's not this guy. Not this Harvest guy. Man is a is a term that they. It's like a the the master the, the Zep, uh, uh, is referred to as the Harvest. The harvest man. So apparently that would probably be some sort of religious like a high priest or something. Yeah. Alright. Send the cat down here. Alright, so we uh, continue to go down. Find an open pit. A tunnel from the north ends here. A small stream of water flows from uh um flows from it to the center of this chamber, where it plunges through a, 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 a shadowy sinkhole. Glowing green algae coats the chamber's walls and ceilings, painting the entire room in a eerie light. I'm going to cast it in. How, how deep is this hole? It goes about... Uh, Sorry. About 30 feet down. I'm going to cast it in my rock. 